This week we're going to talk about Carson Wentz and how he was able to do four more plays after tearing his ACL on this next Back and Body video. Hi, Dr. Dave Perna here, your New York City chiropractor with Back and Body Medical, offering our services to the people of the New York City area in Midtown Manhattan on the east side, as well as in Springfield, New Jersey on US Route 22. As always, we give uh, information about football injuries one per week, and this week we decided to choose Carson Wentz with the Philadelphia Eagles. Carson Wentz, while diving into the end zone on a play that was called back, was hit from both sides. He tore his left ACL in the process. What's unique about the situation is Carson Wentz was able to do four more plays before being pulled from the sidelines and, and had uh, his knee looked at question becomes, is it even possible to do so? And yeah, it, it is. And we've seen this possibly with Deshaun Watson early in the year where he actually finished the game and people felt as though during practice the following week is when he actually noticed the tear. As mentioned during the Deshaun Watson video, other factors could be at play. There could be muscle guarding and or swelling in the area which would limit the mobility of the knee anyway. As well as during the actual time of play, with the endorphins rushing, he may have not noticed the initial pain from the injury. So if it's not so easy for the athlete to know they injured their knee, how do the trainers and the doctors on the field figure out that the, that the athlete tore their ACL? Well, we're going to cut to a little video that I took with Dr. Sean Clancy, another chiropractor here at Back and Body Medical in New York City, where we show you some simple tests that were performed. So Dr. Clancy was kind enough to help us uh, show you some of the tests for uh, ACL that you'll usually see uh, on the field when an athlete is down. They may even test him or her right there on, on the field of play. Uh, but these days in the NFL, they, in, they started these uh, blue tents, so there's some privacy during an exam. But these will be an indication that they're actually looking at and testing the ACL so that you'll know if your favorite athlete is hurt that it is, a, it in fact, maybe a significant injury. So some of the more common tests you might see would be an anterior drawer test. You would see them sit on the field and pull on the leg. Uh, they also have Lockman's test, where they're holding the leg above and below and seeing if there's any movement. And then there's, of course, pivot shift, which from this angle you're not going to see well, but it takes advantage of the IT band to see if there's a clunk in play. But the most recent and what they're calling the most accurate, statistically significant test is called Lieberstein or Lely's test. And you may start seeing this more and more for people with ACL injuries. You put your fist in the top third of the shin and you're pushing down on the upper thigh bone and you're looking to see if the leg raises. If the leg raises, that's a good sign. It means the ACL is intact. What all these tests are checking is to see the stability of the lower leg bone and the upper leg bone to see if there's any movement. The ACL deep inside the knee will hold these bones together so that there is no separation and there is good stability within the knee. So hopefully you understand what's involved with uh, testing the ACL. As we mentioned, the ACL is instrumental in stability of the upper leg bone and lower leg bone. Without it, the sport of football is very difficult because you need to stop, pivot, and change directions, and the knee needs to have stability to do so. So if your favorite athlete goes to the ground and the athletic trainers and doctors are checking out the knee in a similar leg fashion, you know maybe a ACL and be a serious injury. As always, this uh, information is not for diagnostic purposes, but for just, inf just for information for people to have, and we are not the treating physicians and chiropractors for Carson Wentz. For more information such as this, like our Facebook pages, if you're in New Jersey, Back and Body NJ, if you're in, back in, if you're in New York City, Back and Body NY, where we post weekly updates such as this. We'll see you soon.